When somebody has a stroke, every second that goes by is crucial. As brain tissue and millions of neurons begin to fade away, time could not be more precious. With World Stroke Day approaching this weekend, we are joined by Liberty Head of Brand Strategy and Sponsorships, Maurice Bostander, George Scholar from the Stroke Survivors Foundation, as well as stroke survivor Michelle Bell to unpack this topic further. Now, health is something that a lot of people are looking towards nowadays. People are being a lot more conscious about their health and what they do. But strokes are about the top 10 leading causes of disability in South Africa, and they account for about 25,000 deaths annually. Why then was it so important for Liberty to support and be part of the Stroke Survivors Foundation? So at Liberty, we're really deeply concerned about how holistic well-being of our clients. Um, so for us, it's not just about providing the, the support um, and financial advice and services from a, a risk and investment perspective, but it's really about being true to what we promise our, our, our clients and South Africans. The Stroke Survivor Foundation and Heart and Stroke um, Foundation of South Africa is very important for us because it will enable us to really make sure that we connect with our audiences to support them mm. in their vulnerable moments. Well, it's good to see that both of us, I'm not alone in this because we both wearing these blue gloves in South Africa, you might be wondering why are we wearing these blue gloves. So maybe George, you can unpack that for us. What is the Blue Glove Initiative and then why is it such an important drive? The Blue Glove came about in that the easiest way to get your empathy, mm -hmm. um, not sympathy, empathy, is when you feel what we go through. We've done that little test with yes. you writing your name with your normal uh, hand. Now let's say you have a stroke mm. and it affects your strong side. So now you've got to learn to write. So please r write the word right. Okay. Okay. And then your name. So I've written my name yeah. and the word left using my left hand, which is my strong hand, which is what right. I use on a daily. And I'm not going to be trying to write right as well as my name using my other hand. Okay. Um, I don't normally use my right hand, so this is going to be quite a mission. Um, actually, it's quite hard to even write, hold the pen. And hold the paper. And the paper, true, yeah. Uh, now, imagine you didn't have a left hand. So that's what disabled people go through. They've, uh, after the, the trauma, they've got to find ways to adapt to the newfound situation. And the easiest way to get your empathy is what you're doing now. Mm. You've found out firsthand how difficult it is. So if you can show that, and mm. basic example, when you see disabled person, you'll think differently. Michelle, I think this is the perfect time to then bring you in here because we're talking about um, you know, strokes and surviving strokes and getting through it and getting through you know, the recovery. Do you mind just let, perhaps telling us about your experience with having a stroke and how your road to recovery was, how long it took, and just maybe talk us through that whole process. I was cooking one Sunday evening dinner and I noticed that I couldn't pick up my right arm. And I went to my partner and I said, pick up my arm because something doesn't feel right. So he picked it up and it automatically dropped straight down to my side. And he wanted to go to the hospital, but I told him, no, it's fine. It's probably just a pinch nerve. It will go away. But after three hours, it didn't go away. So we rushed to the hospital and that's when I was taken into the ER and on the table lying in my CT scan, um, they told me that I had had a stroke. Wow. And I think the, the scariest part is normally when people talk about having a stroke, it becomes such a, an event where it's a physical event. Someone is going through an, a, a stroke. You can see it, you can experience it. But in this instance, it was something so silent and so simple that you wouldn't even have thought that I'm experiencing a stroke, only to find out when you're going to hospital. Now, um, Maurice, insurance and health definitely walk hand in hand nowadays. And being that Liberty covers critical illnesses and stuff, are there any trends you've noticed over the last couple of years in terms of a claims processing, specifically when it comes to uh, strokes particularly? Yes, so we conduct a claims that study every year. And the most recent one that's been released for 2021 definitely shows that 
um, stroke is one of the top five claims that we receive. Um, so that's quite significant. Um, and furthermore, we've also seen that there's been an increase with women claims coming through specifically. So those are quite interesting stats and information and trends that we've noticed. Um, and that's why this partnership is so important for us to create that awareness. True. And I mean, George, I guess that's when it, it's important for us to find out, because we're talking about the Stroke Survivors Foundation. How then would you support stroke survivors? The one important point is that with stroke, you, the reality only hits when you are discharged from hospital. Mm -hmm. Because whilst in hospital, you've got doctors, nurses, therapists looking after you. So when you're discharged, what do you go home to? Mm -hmm. uh, there's, a, there's a huge gap there, and that's where we step in. Because mm -hmm. we offer peer support, and we offer them advice mm -hmm. just to show them that, A, there is life after stroke, mm -hmm. And, um, and B, it's all up to you to make that happen. And Michelle, as a stroke survivor yourself, what is the important thing that you feel people need to know when it comes to strokes? The recovery would be to not blame yourself for anything. I blame myself for a lot. And um, it's just to move on from that and to look after yourself mentally, physically and emotionally. Um, having people around you to support you during the time of recovery and the way forward. Thank you so much, Michelle, and thank you all for being here. This might be something that is very negative for, for some people. There is a light at the end of the tunnel. There's initiatives like the Stroke Survivors Foundation. There's Liberty, who gives people the option in terms of cover and things that they can get. But one thing I can say to South Africa is that experience the effects of a stroke by giving your hand a day. Wear a blue glove in support and advocacy for World Stroke Day.